Hey there, this is Oniranaut from Mac Forums here once again with another short video to help troubleshoot uh, some issues with iMovie that expat girl has been having. Um, she says her imported AVI footage isn't showing up as thumbnails. Uh, she says it starts to import but never really seems to uh, show up. The only thing I can think of for that is uh, perhaps she needs to select the correct uh, footage from the events library over here. Now I know I've got some uh, footage imported already but if I don't have it selected it won't show up. Now that I've got it selected it's down here. Um, if you've got a lot of things in your event library already you might have something else selected. I don't have that much, so it uh, was pretty easy to find. So that's the only thing I can think of for that. Uh, something similar happens up here because I know that I had a project uh, with my video footage in it already, but it's not here. Well, that's because I have to uh, make sure I'm in the project library and pick the correct project which is here. Now if I go back to edit the project, there it is just as I left it. So um, I would say make sure the footage is selected in the events library and to also make sure that the correct project is selected from the project library. Uh, the other question she had was how do you import photos still photos into your iMovie project. That's a little easier to answer. Basically you just go over here uh, to the far right of the center toolbar and you'll see a little camera icon. Click on that and a window with all of your iPhoto events and pictures uh, show up. So make sure that the picture you want to use or pictures you want to use are already in iPhoto. You can double click on the picture you want and just drag it into your project. You can also change the duration. It has a default of four seconds, but you can change that here um, in clip adjustments. Um, you can you can adjust the uh, the way it's uh, displayed in your project. So um, that's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. She also had some questions about screen capturing. Uh, and there's a couple of different ways to do that. One is to use Grab, which is in your Applications folder under Utilities. I have it here in my doc already. Uh, and you can capture a selection, a window, a screen, or a time screen. Uh, when I choose Selection, I just drag around the part of the screen that I want you hear the camera click and it shows up in its own untitled window. From here I can save it to anywhere I want. However, there's another way to uh, get screen captures which is to use the uh, widget in your dashboard called uh, Screenshot Plus. Yeah, Screenshot Plus which uh, I have here in my dashboard um, and if you want to get it onto your dashboard, you just go down here to manage your widgets. And uh, there it is, Screenshot Plus. Click on it, it'll, it'll show up here. And click the little eye icon, the little information button. And from here, you can choose where to save your screenshot. I have it. Uh, automatically save to my desktop and all the other options uh, that you need. When I'm ready to take a screen capture, do the same thing, drag around the area, hear the camera click and it gives you a little preview. From here I can either reject it or save it to my default uh, location which is the desktop. And as you can see, 
here it is and it shows up in preview just like uh, any other normal screen capture or um, photo so that's how you get screen captures uh, I hope this helps with iMovie I'm not sure if it will though it sounds like it may be another issue but I would really highly recommend going to apple.com uh, and looking for uh, iMovie tutorials and you'll get lots of lo lots and lots of information about um, how to do different things from um, adding photos to your movie creating effects uh, publishing just everything you need to know about it is here on this page so I, I would really highly recommend watching um, all of these or at least watching the one that pertains to the step that you're doing next so you know um, what to expect so let us know how it works out good luck